This is Jesus Manuel Menagarza. It's uh, February 15th, 2021, and uh, in my life I've uh, never encountered much snow. Living in San Jose, California, you don't get much snow. You get about uh, maybe a dusting every 10 years, and that's about it, maybe five years. But living in Fort Worth is a little bit different. We get snow once in every while. So I've never uh, had snow where uh, it got very cold or had to be cold for a long time. So today it's two degrees, two degrees, supposed to be down to zero degrees. Uh, the actual, what do you call it, temperature after taking into consideration things, it's supposed to be below, it's about 15 below. So let's take a peek and walk around the property and see how everything is going. Let me see if I can use my gloves to operate my, uh, my DGI. So down here, got some significant snow drippage. We got some snow drifts. Look at that. Here's a view of the flower beds. Got quite a bit of snow on the plants here, and the lake across the street has quite a bit of snow. Here's my house. Quite a bit of snow. The bushes in front have nice snow to them, and the roof also has quite a bit of snow. These all look, look quite pretty with the snow on them, don't you think? And the blue sky in the background. Looks very nice. Somebody with a car? Some brave soul. Hope it doesn't slip and slide to that truck coming up ahead. There's a view of uh, French Lake in Fort Worth, Texas. Looks like some brave souls were rode down the road today. Let's go take a quick peek at the lake. <laughs> the 
Looks like the uh, birds are all congregated on this side. And these are the tracks of the lady that feeds them, who lives my next door to me. She likes to... by the Neighborhood Association. She's been entrusted with feeding these uh, birds and taking care of them. Wow! Our little lake is uh, frozen. Frozen French Lake. And right across the way, some kids are tobogganing. Or what do you call it when you get a little disc and you go down the hill because we have a little hill over there? So our lake is quite frozen. So walking around still. Walking around still, just checking things out. breeze is modest so that's not too bad but uh, I'm enjoying it it's nicer than yesterday yesterday was colder than today yes it's a bit snowy down here as you can see my feet are quite uh, snowbound Quite a bit of snow. The snow is nice and soft. Here's a nice view. The lake. Again, we're in Fort Worth, Texas. It's February 15th. It's about 10 a.m. And we had quite a bit of snow last night and the day before. It's about 2 degrees. And our little pond here, our little retaining pond, is uh, frozen. The sound you hear is of me tromping through the snow. Because that they were tromping, walking through the snow. It snows about. Uh, four or five inches. Over there are all the, all the ducks, the geese, the migratories, the cormorants, and they're all going, man, it's hella cold out here. There they are. And some kids in the background are going down on their toboggans, what are they called, the little things, little slip and sliders. The migratory birds that come here, we have several species of migratory birds that come here. That karma oh, <laughs> just flew, his tail has frozen ice on it. He's going, man, that's cold. I got a chunk of ice adhered to my uh, tail. Look at there he goes. He has a chunk of ice. It's not good. And some of these beasts here are not too happy. Let's take a quick peek at the folks uh, slipping and sliding down this little hill we got here. Yeah, they're hanging out there, laying in the snow. They brought a little, just like a little canoe or something. 
So this is my neighborhood. The hood, as I call it. Ooh, that snow's deep to me. It's not several feet deep, it's a good four to six inches deep. <laughs> My nose is frozen. It's, it's my neighborhood right there. My house is right over there. Right over there. It looks over the little pond. It's right over there. Ooh, it's cold out here. My face is uh, a bit frozen, even though I got a little bit of facial hair. Thanks for watching my video. This is me walking around the snow for all you folks in uh, Syracuse, Buffalo, International Falls, Bismarck, <laughs> Denver. <laughs> You're going. You're wasting my time, boy. It's not that cold. You ain't got that much snow. Yeah, but to me, it's snow. It's all relative. <laughs> For somebody from Polynesia, from Hawaii, from Samoa, they're going, hey, that's that's bad stuff there. And this boy from San Jose saying, hey, yeah, it's, it's rough stuff. I'm gonna head home. This is Jesus Manuel Menegares. I hope you're having a fantastic day wherever you're at. Uh, I just wanted to say that uh, snow to me is an anomaly. I've experienced it maybe a dozen times, and a ten of those times it's been just a dusting that lasted maybe a half a day. Again, I was raised in San Jose, California, and snow is very rare. Of course, we have the usual screaming children in the background. Those days are long gone for me. I don't have to deal with screaming children anymore. Big thumbs up for that, huh? <laughs> so, uh, two days, maybe two, three times, uh, I've encountered snow that was significant. And two of those times were here, and one time in Lake Tahoe when I went down there. During the summer, it was still snow on the ground in the summer, late summer, August. But this has been the most snow I've ever experienced in my life, and the coldest temperature I've experienced in my life. Two degrees. Zero degrees last night. It's supposed to be zero degrees tomorrow. That's cold. Do you think that's cold? I think that's cold. So this uh, slacker boy here, slacker from San Jose, is not used to this. Hope you're doing well wherever you're at. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. I would greatly appreciate it. Thank you very much. And if you have the time, please leave your kind and super friendly comments while my nose is getting frozen uh, below the com uh, you know, below the you know, description. Thank you very much again. And check out my Patreon page, patreon.com slash Garza. Thank you very much. Again, it's a snow day here in Fort Worth, Texas. Hope you're doing well wherever you're at. Again, gracias. Adios. Bye-bye.